Welcome to the Entertainment Rants Podcast, your number one source for all things entertainment. Join host Marco Mazzola and his fellow ranters as they sound off on the latest movies, TV, and the world of entertainment. Now, here are your ranters for the hour, Marco, Mila, Larry, and Bruno. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Entertainment Rants Podcast. I am, as always, your host, Marco Mazzola. Is that a loud one? Sorry, Mila. No, no, you're good. I just, okay, just I had checking. to fix <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with our host. Hello, Mila. Ew. Hello, Larry. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's talk everybody's favorite franchise, the one everybody has good things to say about, Star Wars. God, I love Star Wars so much. Shut up, Mila. So, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about... The Acolyte. The Acolyte. All right. All right, now, now that we've talked now, about it. Now, now all right, also guys, streaming all right. on Disney. I'm just going to keep talking. Oh. Now streaming on <laughs> Disney Plus. And that's all I have to say. Yeah. That sure is streaming right, on Disney I'll, Plus. I'll, who wants to go? Who can, I'll let's start go with the tail of the tape first. All right, so let's just, the, all right, ready? Tell me about the show. Tell me about the show. I'm gonna, so again, I'm as always, tons of spoilers. We're going to spoil the yeah, fuck out of the well, show. Th- this is already over. I mean, trust me. <laughs> yeah, no, so just please believe me. There's me, no fucking way nobody's yet. watched this yet. Oh, there are. There's no way. It. I didn't watch the last episode yet. Well, that's not my fucking it's problem. Accolade. You're not missing much. <laughs> Damn. You're not missing <laughs> much. Fucking chill. You're not bearing the fucking lead, are you, Mila? I know, right? Well, I'm just going to go with a quick description. On, on, on what they had at Amitabha. Go for it. Um, an investigation into a shocking crime spree pits a respected Jedi master against a dangerous warrior from his past. As more clues emerge, they travel down a dark path where sinister forces reveal all oh, is not what it seems. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Fuck it. Thank you, Mila. Wow. I got you. I got you. Um, that was pretty awesome. It was. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Tell the tape. Um, we're, we're, we're led to believe that you know, a Jedi, you know, a Jedi Master's going, uh, the Jedi Master's are dying. Somebody's killing off these. They're, they're unaliving Jedi they, Masters. They, they're un- unaliving. I'm just doing that to you people. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're, they're killing, I hate that word as much as they're you They're killing them, they're dying, they're unaliving them, or whatever the killing. fuck. Killing. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Mary yeah, so, so so somebody's them all, they some, get all the words. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Check them all off. I no, think so. Where's the box? Yeah, so somebody's killing off the Jedi's, and they go to find out who it is, come to find out it was, it's, it may or may not be something from the past, and then there's dark forces. This is literally what the description is, and it pretty much is that. Yeah. And then we find out um, it's all fucked up. It's all fucked up. It's all fucked up. <laughs> That's it. That's Entertainment Rants, gang. <sighs> I'm just kidding. There he goes. So, in a nutshell, oh, gosh. I'll say this. Yeah. And this is something that I've, I've been kind of harnessing in on. If you are going to create a Star Wars story, I am all for giving me new stories. We got the Mandalorian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking awesome. Well, mm-hmm. until it wasn't, but yeah. yeah. Well, until it wasn't, which was like that. That, that, that was like a tap until, until the I end. Mean, it went from being awesome to being good. Yeah, like yeah. it was never bad, right? right. Like, oh was, yeah, that's true. So, yeah. It was like so we, pizza. Re, yes. Pizza's never bad. They can't handle keeping things really, really good. They go, mm. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, go, all right, we gotta get, we gotta get yeah, a couple right? of seasons, you know. Let's so, relax a little bit. I'm all for having new stories. We're going in the last one. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm all about having new stories. I'm, I'm fucking fine with it. Make a new yeah. season one of another show. Sure. <laughs> getting, away the, getting away from the, the, the Skywalker saga. The Skywalker, you know, that shit that we've been watching. Giving Boba Fett a season two. It's a thousand right. years of history. And, and, if, and if you've read so the let's books. let's go back a hundred years. Yeah, so if you if, if you know the books and the lore and, you know, what they've considered legend and non-canon, whatever, there's, there's plenty of shit that you can peel off of. And if Disney wants to create stories to make them canon, I'm fucking cool with that, too. Yeah. I'm 100% fine with that. You want to introduce more of the witches? Fucking ain't right. I'm all about that nice. shit because there, uh, they, you know, again, if you're gonna pull from legends and lore and stuff, it, mm-hmm. they, there are other sects that use dark forces. They weren't so much Sith because we have the witches of da- da- Dathomir, you know. So there's there's other sects of force users. So I'm I'm happy that they introduce us to some new shit. Yeah. What well, my problem is is when you take the fucking lore and you fuck with it. <laughs> we have been led to believe that Anakin Skywalker was born of the Force. Yeah. The only fucking one. Fuck, he's a prophecy, that's it. You cannot, well, I mean, obviously you can, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. But once you start messing with that kind of lore, expect the backlash, okay? They created 
these children from the force. That's like saying, I'm Catholic, I've got Bible, Bible tells me Jesus was born, Jesus was born, Son of God, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You can't come up with another book and say, actually, before Jesus, there was another guy that was born the same way. It's like, wait a minute, time the fuck out. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> oh, it's almost like they said you only get 12 regenerations, and now we're going to fuck exactly. with you limited. Yeah. And you go, you go, let's fucking that. ruin that. Right. Okay. So, and I go, I'm oh, tired. Right. I'm tired. Episode, I'm tired. So it's like, the, the, way, the way that they did that, like, I really don't like that. And the Lord's right there. I, it's, that's, it's, that's, that is yeah. the most annoying thing, is yep. when it's like, you are the showrunner. You should know more than anyone the lore if you're making this fucking show. Yeah. So, like, again, like... And I'm, you know people are going to care. Of course. Like, I'm very much... I, when I saw the witches, I was like, oh, shit, they're going to, you know, they're going to kind of play... I've been wanting a fucking, like, dark side show forever. Like, I've, I've been... I've been very adamant. Like, give me a Sith trilogy. Give me... Yeah, you've it, been very vocal about it. Very. So it's like, yeah. when I first saw this, I was like, fucking ain't right. Yeah, let me, let me get some dark side shit. So I was looking, so much looking forward to it. And then I got the first episode. I'm like, all right. Well, that kind of pisses me off because you killed off fucking Trinity real fast. Yeah. That really oh, yeah. me. I mean, she reappears. Well, she wasn't done yet, She reappears in, in back, flashbacks. Flashbacks. Yeah, of course. But, no, but, we, but, yeah. Yeah. but we saw Trinity in the very first episode doing Trinity shit and I was like fucking A right I That's love the I love the fighting in this fucking the, season the fight, the, I gotta say the fighting was the, the, so the cool the fighting was good oh my the, god the actual lightsaber fights that they had fucking oh, awesome. shit those are really oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah so so yeah so Carrie and Moss when I saw her in the previews I was like fucking A right they're bringing her back. they're gonna put her into this I'm all about it let's go I saw the fights and I was like, yeah, that's great. And as I'm watching, I'm like, yeah, this is, it's very, you know, it's the Hong Kong wire work. And mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, this is great fighting. And then they kill her and I went, time out. <laughs> Fuckers. Pause. That's, that's all Hold we're going to get. That's all we're going to get of Carrie and Moss fighting. Like, that's, that's it. That's, that's the one episode. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the episode, I was like, you fucking suck. <laughs> so a lot of the bad things that I've been saying is a lot of the bad things that have happened in this series is due to the fucking bad writing. And what bad writing does is it leaves a lot of loose ends. Mm -hmm. And when you look at your bad writing, you, you leave things up to interpretation. And, and, and it's very, I don't want to call it clever, because it's not. <laughs> it's not clever. <laughs> it's not. It's bad. I'm not going to give them that kind of kudos. Uh, yeah, man. right. It's, it's, the bad writing leaves so many open doors that I'm going to say this, if you take it in a good way, I'm gonna say that's what it was. But if you take it in a bad way, I'm gonna go, well, it really wasn't what I meant, you know? Mm. Like, there's a certain part where everyone's like, oh my- family. Like, um, and we're gonna jump around obviously, but like the, the one part in particular, that when everybody's like, when, when, they, when they brought back fucking Cootie Mondi there, whatever the fuck. Which one is that one? The guy with the cone head. No, the tall head. The, the tall head. Yeah. So he was in the episode. This is what started off with the accolade. Like the first couple episodes, everybody's like, oh my God, this is kind of fucking cringe. Like, I don't get it. But when they introduced him into that, they went, wait a minute. This motherfucker, we already saw him in episode one, which just happens in a hundred years. Right. And according that, to his species lifeline, he should not be. He there. should not be alive. Or he should not be that old either. Maybe, right. maybe he's a baby at that point, but then, you know, no, no, yeah, no, a full grown adult. Wasn't no. even fucking born yet. Oh. So, and in episode one, he said they have him in a line that says, we haven't seen a sit in a thousand years. This show takes place in a hundred years prior to that. Which is less than a thousand. Kind of not a thousand. Kind of not a thousand. <laughs> so now, and we're led to believe that there is a Sith. So it's like, all right, well, wait a minute. What the fuck? You said that there hasn't been a Sith around in a thousand years. This is a hundred years prior. Mm -hmm. There's this guy running around here with a fucking red lightsaber. Okay? So that's one. And then other people are like, well, wait a minute. His species doesn't live that long. He shouldn't even be fucking alive. That's so really the that was the problem. That was the biggest problem. So like... The, the, you know, people that like dive deep into this shit, into the lore, like they, they have sites that a lot of people reference. Yeah. They actually went there and changed. <laughs> For those that know, it's Wikipedia, yeah. not Wikipedia, Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah. Right. They and, went and, that, and changed his age. Like, they literally go yeah. in there to change because they were like, oh shit, we need to change. Because that's where a lot of people 
go it's to the Bible. Reference. It's their Bible. Yeah. You know, it's their show running yeah. Bible. So, so, oh, fuck. So they fucked that up. That, so he can be so, there. It's, so it's the couple things that they did there, and it's like, you fucked this up. Like, Which, how? It, you know, it just to harp on that one subject, and we will move on from this, but it just doesn't make any sense. You have a galaxy full of Jedis. Why did you bother putting him in? Right. What was the purpose? He didn't have an overall grand nope. purpose, and it wasn't like what he does in it was this just show brings us to episode one or any of that other shit or you know to the future like it's no there's no real type of connection for him so why the fuck you could have brought anybody out of the out of the, the, the extended universe or whatever it's fucking Star Wars make matter. one up make even. Fucking, yeah, 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 just make up. it's not that in, hard why you have to put it in somebody we know and that we've seen you know before I mean? right. that we've seen before and his age doesn't match. Like, why would you even bother? That's like if that's like if we saw fucking and it wasn't even like a great reveal. Like, oh my god, it's a great reveal of character. Oh my god, I can't believe he's, he's there. In this. No, he's right. in for two fucking seconds, and who cares? So, so it, was, yeah. it was a wasted cameo. It was a wasted cameo for people to get really fucking pissed off and go, "What the fuck?" <laughs> there was another Jedi that show. looked just like him and well, had the same all, name, right, but, but no, it wasn't you him. Think so, but the credits had it as his name. It, so, oh, that's, so it wasn't even like, "Oh, it's the same," because they have another right, the same species. Because right, you know, why not? Like there, there, was, there was another Jedi there that was that was the same species as Plo Koon. Yeah, but it wasn't Plo Koon, right. so they could have done the same thing. Yeah. So that that but was why a big the credits. Do you make it the same fucking guy? But that's how this fucking series started off, like right at the gate, and I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is going? Like, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah, it was a little weird. You know. So and, and the dynamic between now we know that there's two of them, right? I don't know if uh, was that was that in the first episode. I can't remember. Um, what do you mean? How we find out that they're sisters? Because. The first episode, you see the fight scene. It was like the first episode, was I think. It, and then yeah. we find out. Oh, like, yeah, oh yeah. your sister May's alive. And you go like, oh. Yeah, yeah it's like, so. <laughs> a lot. Oh, fuck. I, I, I can't like take episode by episode because it's kind of hard to. Um, a, lot, a, a big part of the shitty writing, um, again, was, was that um, the, the flip-flop of the sisters, right? I spent 16 years trying to kill you, trying to kill all these Jedi. Yeah. But you know what? I'm going to be good now. <laughs> that was weird. I spent X amount of years wanting to be Are you talking about like Jedi. the last moment when it's like she had the option? Last to... moment? Fuck, there was like 15 moments that she kept flip-flopping back and forth. The bowl of them. Yeah. They kept yeah. flip-flopping yeah. back and forth. Yeah, they were super I inconsistent. Like super definitely inconsistent. towards the last couple when she's just like, no, I'm just going to take you in. And... Let's See? take you into the Jedi. And I go, who the fuck are you talking yeah, to right yeah, yeah. now? You realize two episodes ago in the beginning, you were killing motherfuckers. Yeah, right? like, yeah. Like, who like, are you? you just fucking killing people. Like, they, now they, you're gonna turn him in? Like, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it, it, it's like she goes surprised. I was always decent, and you go, it, no, I don't yeah. know, man. Those part, murders, not you really. Didn't really prove that. So, so, so part of, part of this too is the the I didn't give a shit about the main characters. Like, I you, you want me to you want me to feel for for Osha and May. I didn't care. By the second or third episode, no. I was like. I really don't give a fuck about you two. Like, is yeah, there I care more about the Jedi. Like yeah, give, give me a same. different story. Yeah. Give me another. Give me a. This can't be the main. Get more about the Jedi they killed off. Yeah, I wanted to see. I want to see more. I want to see more of of Dark Smiley. Dark Smiley. I want to see more of him. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. When, when I saw that, I was like, Smilo Ren. Yeah, Smilo Ren, Dark <laughs> Smiles, whatever. Dark, uh, little Dark, dark uh, when I see dark teeth, yeah, um, you know, so well, yeah smile, smile red Ren. because the people, people are assuming or contemplating is he the first of the night? Yeah, which because that helmet is he well, the first of the night? You can call me Sith. But, but so here's the thing about that little fucking line, <laughs> and the line is, you may call me a Sith because he's like, what are you? He's like, I'm someone that just wants to be free. I just want to use my powers. I want to be able to do what I want to do. You know, Jerry may call me. You dogma, may call me a Sith. Never heard of the rule of two. <laughs> he never. He never called himself an actual Sith. He no. said, "You may call me a Sith." Yeah. You might. People, like you might. You, you me might. As a Sith because that's what you sure. never call me. So people lost their fucking minds with that. But again, that's that shitty writing that leaves it open because you couldn't always go. Oh well, that's not what I really meant. Well, oh, theoretically, fuck, you, you, well, right. no, I, but I get what they're saying though, because and that kind of ties into what you're saying. When then you know, in a thousand years, we haven't seen a Sith. He doesn't identify. He doesn't identify. Right. He doesn't you could identify call me one. I mean, you might. Call, However, you know, it's more like you might call me one because that's what you know. Right. You you, yeah. you you might classify me as a Sith. That's not really what I am. So do we hate him? I'm Is he a bad guy? Yeah. I mean, essentially. Uh, I don't, hold on. I don't hate him. 
But yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm like, because I don't. They're not really making me hate him. So, I mean, he killed off like. A lot of Jedi Jedi or whatever. He killed kill a, a lot, lot of, people. of fucking Jedi's. So, but then, and a lot of people, like a lot of people, say they really fuck with the Jedi's too, and like their their lore, and are they good yeah. or are they just dogmatic fuck faces? I, like, yeah. you know what so, I mean? I was kind of hoping by the end they power. would both just like then you like had both the Manhunter sis- at the end, uh, fucking trying to bring them down. I was hoping by the end the sisters would be like, no, fuck the Sith, fuck the Jedi. Let's just be morally gray individuals. Together, sure. You know, I was like, "Fuck," because that's what it felt like it was going towards. Yeah. Honestly, let it didn't feel, feel like. Let me feel for these characters a little bit. Yeah, right. And then it was like, actually, no. And I was like, okay, but like, it also feels like she's not going to be evil Sith. You know, I, I, well, it's going to yeah. be like, let's be Sith on a beach together. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, it goes, let's, let's, let's just go. Out. Let's go out like, and like Sith ties. some shit. You know, so <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> A couple so of blue much. milks, and we're good to go. It didn't feel like she was, like, a bad person now. It felt like, let's go be Siths on a beach. No, here's the <laughs> thing about the Sith now. <sighs> or Sith, hypothetically, or whatever. So, the Sith have some sort of, uh, not some sort, I'm sorry. They have similar beliefs as the Jedi as far as uh, connections and companions. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not supposed to have them. They're not as bad as how the Jedi are. The Jedi are like, no, no, you need to cut all fucking ties. Yeah. The Sith are like, listen... You can't be having fucking outside shit. Like, you need to be fucking locked in at all times. Yeah. Like, that's kind of their shit, right? So part of the... A, a lot of what people are saying about the this one is they're making the Jedi look bad and, like you said, and dogmatic and blah, blah, blah. And it's true, because, again, if you read some of the books, they are very much like that, yeah. Yeah. you know? And, yeah. and it's their word, and it's their law. And so you kind of... They, they they made it and this series I feel that they that they made it seem a little bit darker where they're just like we're coming to take your kid because only we can we got uh, we, we we set the rules on who can if you're force if you're force sensitive we set the rules on who can use force and when they that's why they take him as a kid and, and how so they're yeah. very like they go we don't want you training them because you're gonna fuck them up right yeah. so instead of letting them turn just, them bad and instead of just letting them be with their peeps they're like no no, no we're taking you away so it, it, it's very they, I, I like that the politician like kind of ground into the green lady oh yeah <laughs> well it's like yeah you guys are fucking morons well, I mean, like, so here's the thing like, unchecked power this. there's there's a lot of agenda that's driven. Martian this, Manhunter from Supergirl I know yeah, yeah, yeah. no I was like I was like hey that's Martian Manhunter <laughs> from Supergirl with the ears um, like, oh my god it's him this, this is very much agenda driven this whole series um, it was kind of weird seeing him like, it was. I was, like, I was like, like yeah, oh, what are you doing here? Yeah. Oh, um, hi. Right. Are you here to get your Disney money too? <laughs> yeah, I got Good it. for you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, uh, you got, got that you opportunity, buddy. You, you took it. Hey. Why not? It's like Wolverine Cavill. <laughs> like, go. fuck it. Go for Cal- it. Wolverine. <laughs> that was like a thought I had. I was like, oh, sick. Getting Disney some Disney money. money? Nice. Sweet. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah this, this whole series is very agenda driven, I feel. It's like, you know, it, it was Leslie Headland trying to get her point across and not really playing into the Star Wars universe. I think she just used the Star Wars universe to push what she wants to say to people, I guess. And I, I don't know. And I, and I know that a lot of directors and producers, like, they, they do that, but oh, it's just felt... It's fucking tiring. But it just, it just felt it. Like, I, I, I felt that very much. So it wasn't like, oh, like, sneaky, let me sneak this point of view in. It was very... Very upfront and, and, and a it's lot of that. Like what? Because you're a fan of this franchise and you don't want somebody to use the franchise to do shit like that. Like, go make a fucking indie movie. Go do something like that. You want to push agendas. You want to push your fucking thing. Go make something, but just don't touch franchises like this, whether it's a Marvel or Batman or fucking whatever. You're using this big franchise to push your agendas. and it's, Which it is like super really, woke. Like what? What agenda? Super woke agendas as far as the LBGTQ question mark. Uh, what else? Anti-government. Um, uh, very uh, anti... Was there an LGBTQ moment? Uh, shit. I don't know. I, think, I, but I don't remember exactly. I know. Um, I felt. <laughs> I gotta think about it. Now that, I'm, like, well, I'm like, I'm mean, like, what? The mothers. The, mothers, the, 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 the mothers. There we go. The so, mothers. That's what. Oh, you about yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. That's. I'm sorry. I'm like. I know that there was. Yeah. That's what um, you see the most complaint about. That's that's the most on the complaint. What about it? 
People didn't like the... I didn't fucking... I was like, I, okay. So... I'm like, they're a coven of fucking witches. What, what well, do you because, think's gonna well, happen? Well, because the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. They're hey, all women. Didn't what didn't did you That shit happens. It didn't register to move my needle at all. Yeah. Like, ah, whatever. I don't really care. Yeah, I didn't... I, 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 I like, didn't even fucking notice. Only, I was like, And the only oh. reason why I bring it up is after every episode, I did do the... He look into every episode um, as far as like Easter eggs and the people that were writing shit online when they talked about the mothers that was a big part they were like here's Lizzie Hedlund I, I, I'm saying her last name right right am I wait why are people up in arms about that they were like background fucking characters really no the two main mothers that created Ocean yeah Man? they were there for like the beginning to give the sad backstory really no they were background they were a huge part of their life story yeah yeah and the sad backstory and, the sad backstory. and then the flashback to the sad backstory no, they're kind of, they, they were kind of important to this story of Ocean May being... Well, created. have we ever met them before? No, but we've never met Ocean May either. So, like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, you know, like, all right. I don't know, I, I, I thought that they were pretty important. Yeah. So if they're important characters, then they're not backstories. A backstory is a story of of a uh, yeah. No, of that doesn't really I mean, matter. I guess, but like, I I just don't get why everyone's like so up in arms. Again, it's like because they made gay women have children. I swear to fucking god, I'm I'm not even taking that. Like that is one hundred. Are you serious? I swear to God, Mila. That's like, wild. <laughs> so this has been. <laughs> I'm like, it's a coven of witches. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. No. No. You're not wrong. <laughs> so. That's crazy. From every episode, there is crazy fucking hate about this. And it's... The, the, the agenda that I don't like that she pushes the anti-fucking government and the religion. I'm like, oh, fuck me. This is what we're going to get into. The, 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 the two women, I don't give a fuck. What I do give a fuck about is you fuck up my lore. <laughs> that's what really matters that's here. Really what you matters. shit on yeah, my lord. That's does. really what pisses you me off. You shit it up and that. shit it out. You shit it out. You <laughs> shouldn't have fucking left. You should have left you it alone. Shit you all you over could it. Have that's created, the lore. You like, could have made children some other way. I don't know. The fo- you had to do forced children. You had to do forced children, and then you had to split that. And it wasn't forced children. Not like some some like it's actually crash forced, it's somewhere. Forced and child and that they split. Do you think in season two we'll get some sort of a? Is it gonna be season two? I think so. I, I think there's going to be a season that, two. I heard that that got axed. Oh, really? Wait, did it really? Yeah. Already? Be- Damn. Be- because it got crazy. F- I'm telling you, this series got crazy backlash. And it I did. don't. But it feels like in the beginning, it, but, it was but just it was, like a lot of like bombing. It was just like there a was a lot, But there was the also beginning. a lot of. They weren't honest reviews. They were just review bombing. But there was stuff. also interviews outside. Like the, the uh, Amanda Stenberg, which plays Osha slash May. Mm-hmm. She gave some interviews that were kind of like, fuck you. Uh, like, kind of like shitting on the fans that had issues with it. She was like, what's just her own take? Yeah, Star Wars fans are really fucking Star mean Wars to the actors. Star Wars fans are mean, yeah. That we they're, know. They're really mean to the actors so and actresses. More, they, they, they more than they are the they, they writers. Know. They, 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 they don't know the difference like, between you know. the actor and the person oh, in yeah. charge of what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. They, they, this show got a lot of fucking heat. It really, really did. Oh, wow. I mean, there, there are certain parts about it, like I said. There in was some like, ways, you miss kind of the old days, like the 80s and 90s when there wasn't the internet. Yeah, so, so you, you can just watch it. You just go watch a fucking movie yeah. and, like, enjoy it and not have to, like, think about all the other people that, around the world who just fucking hate on it because they want to hate. The epitome of all of the rage is always, but four, five, and six. Yeah. And then it just, like, and then there, I don't know. I've like well, what bugs again. Me is like, no one hates Star Wars more than Star Wars fans. Right. <laughs> what bugs me that's is what the whole perfect. with the fan base too is it like four, five, and six. That's the the benchmark, right? And every fucking that's their, shat, that is their religious sh- Bible. Shat like on one, two, and three until seven, eight, nine came out. Now one, two, and three. Aren't so all of a sudden, so all of a sudden, one, one two, three good. are like the best movies. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, exactly. Oh my god, they were so good. They weren't that bad. You don't fucking get to do that. You don't yeah. get you set for years, decades. You shat on those movies. Yeah, yeah. And now you like, like, like shut the fuck up. You were there. I know what you said. Yeah, like, right. I remember what? what? You said. I was there. I heard you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, there, there was. Yeah, I don't know. There was fight scenes were all really cool. The choreography was fucking. Yeah, oh, the choreography was so cool. I love the lightsaber fights. 
I just, I just, while I was watching it, I was like, all right, story's in the background. Yay, fight scene. Oh, so, but that, so that, now there's a thing, though. The story shouldn't be the background. Exactly. It should oh, be the forefront. Oh, it's really not supposed to be a it's a, I mean, like that's what you're watching. You're watching, the, yeah. you know, you're watching the story unfold. I didn't give a fuck about the story after a while. I'm like, yeah. this is fucking weak sauce. Again. Long, too long. At this yeah. point, it feels like the only thing I watch the Star Wars show for, other than podcasting, is... I wonder if there's going to be any cool fight scenes in this one. Like, I, I watched, mean, the you story know? was a Because all these shows story. are just so, like, okay. Like, in a Star Wars thing, you want, even if it's one story, it to be bigger. It wasn't. It was very tight. It was very contained on just, the, like, the one plan, essentially. And sometimes that, that can go really well and if you actually it do it well. But it hasn't. I mean, look at Boba Fett. Look at, it well, just, that's it because they don't know how to fucking do it right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But Star Wars just hasn't. <laughs> they keep trying, and it keeps failing. Grandiose. Look at the original movies, or even the newer ones. They, it's not just on Tatooine. Yeah. Right? You go different places. You, yeah. This one's just, like, it's fucking there. It's, it's at the Jedi Temple, and it's on the, in the forest. Like, that's fucking it. Yeah. You know what and I mean? then the it, unknown planet. Right, it's just it's just fucking boring. You know what I mean? It was just for a Star Wars movie when you're on Disney, and you have all the fucking money, and that's all you could. One hundred and eighty million. Are you serious? <laughs> Sorry, what the fuck's going on? That one, yeah. It's a TV show. It's a TV show. Doesn't count. One hundred eighty fucking million. They put on this show. Proves that. It was double what they did for Obi Wan, and we just went over. What did they do for Deadpool? Fucking two hundred. So it's 20 million shy of, of, of Deadpool and Wolverine. That's what they gave us for 180 million dollars. Now granted a lot of this For like the most mid fucking storyline on the planet. Mid fucking best. I watched this series because I want to see lightsaber effects not really in the with race. like actors I didn't give a shit about like at, like acting acting that was like okay that's great. You're sure. Yeah. Your a story that was like all right. emotional. Way too emotional. Your Jedi's your Jedi's are supposed to be calm cool, centered, collective. You had like one. Even, even when we toe. watch, you know, the, the, the early ones with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, the moment that Obi-Wan kind of like stepped a little bit too emotional, Qui-Gon was like, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, hey, hey. Chill it out, chill it out. Bring, bring it in. And Qui-Gon was the one that was always like, ah, you know what, I don't really like how the Jedi play, but I'm gonna keep my shit fucking cool. On this one, we got a rogue Jedi, literally, trying to like do shit sneaky sneaky, Mm-hmm. While while the the head of that little crew, which wasn't even that wasn't the council, right? That character does exist in Star Wars. It's not that old. The though. green woman. The green woman, right? Mm-hmm. That character does exist in oh. Legends, but she's like eighteen. She's the young. She's one of the youngest Jedi's, to, uh, one of the youngest Padawans to ever become a Jedi Master. She she herself had a Padawan at like 16, 17 years old. Damn. So yeah, so a that, Padawan at sixteen. Yeah, yeah, that character was fucking nasty. Yes. Shit. And yes, it did have a a, a light whip, which was really cool. Yeah. That, so was that was pretty cool. fucking sick. That was cool to see yeah. live action. Ooh. Some of the live action shit that they did, I yeah. really fucking appreciate. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Kyber crystal bleeding was fucking and we, cool. Oh, that was could, so okay, cool. We can still talk about that. That was too. so cool. Because a lot of people hate it. I don't oh. know why. It was I'm going awesome. to I'm going to explain to you why. Tell me why these ass people, okay. people, people, sorry, people hate it. Again, Star Wars fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the biggest part is it. Fucking happy with anything. All right. So here's the thing: the bleeding of the crystal, the uh, bleeding of a Kyber crystal, is a Disney thing. Is it really? It's not a George Lucas thing. Yeah. It is a Disney uh, thing. And the idea about bleeding a crystal is it's supposed to take a lot of concentration, a lot of patience, and, and it takes a lot to bleed a crystal. Essentially, what you're doing oh. by, bleeding, by bleeding a crystal, what you're doing is you're taking a lightsaber from a Jedi. So I am Sith. You well, are Jedi. Did. I take your lightsaber. I now, that pure crystal that was attuned to, because every kyber crystal is good. Every single one is light is light side of the force. So in order for it to bleed, mm. essentially, almost like a Harry Potter wand, right? Like it, it, it it's sort of, a, yeah. It's, so every yeah. It's oh right, yeah, yeah. So that light force crystal is attuned to the, the Jedi lightsaber that wields you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You find the crystal that gets attuned to you, the Jedi. Me, Sith, I take your lightsaber. Now I need to harness my hate and, ape and my hate and my anger, and I need to fucking put it into that kyber crystal. Now that kyber crystal. The reason why it's so hard because it's so strong in the light side, it can defend itself from the dark trying to infiltrate it. 
That is the Disney version. So the reason why people are fucking hating it because they always say, well, Anakin killed all these kids and they did all this. Th- uh, his legs never changed. And his legs never <laughs> changes. The yeah. whole time, he's fucking everybody. He's Mark really with a blue everyone. lightsaber. He's yeah. still using a blue lightsaber. And so, and so because that happened, and now here she is, it changes like that. My answer to that is, that's because Disney fucked up. They should have had that happen. Yeah, they honestly should have made Anakin. That, 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 was, that, was, a, that was a mishit. Okay, they should have made him bleeding it. But now, again, but the, also so another the reason why. Is, hold like, on, whoa, whoa, whoa. What year did the Phantom Menace come out? I don't know. 2000 and... Before 2017. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the first time Bleeding a Crystal became a thing. It was it was introduced in a Ahsoka comic. Right. The Phantom Menace yeah, came out like early way back... It was like 2005. Was like yeah, so the Phantom Menace comes out prior... No, it was even earlier than that. Yeah, ...to the quote-unquote bleeding of the crystal. So that's why Anakin Skywalker doesn't have a red fucking lightsaber. Yeah. Because okay. it takes a lot of, like, you have to actually focus on now, hone it. So now the bleeding of the crystal first gets introduced in 2017 in an Ahsoka comic. And then they show Darth Vader already being Darth Vader, mm-hmm. right? So they show Anakin Skywalker already oh, being Darth Vader. Yeah. Phantom yeah. Menace. So... In the comic, in the Darth Vader comic, it shows him trying to bleed the crystal. It actually takes two attempts. So they've created this lore about bleeding the crystal. So the reason why people are getting so mad is because in the comic that what so the comic... So they went back and sort of retconned it for, for Vader kind of sh- to yeah. kind of make up for the fact that they didn't do it in Phantom Menace. Right. Yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. yeah. In, in the not so Phantom Menace for Revenge so of the, the way that they... I thought this was a fucking great adaptation to it. And Revenge the way of that, the Sith. When did Revenge of the Sith come out? Yeah, let me oh, that, let me do a little googly googly. No, yeah, it's yeah, so not Phantom Menace. It's the third one. The Sith when he comes. So up. the when first was what? Nine, would you say the first one was what? Ninety what? Ninety nine. So what? Two thousand five. Two thousand two thousand five. Yep. Yeah. There we go. I, I know it's like every year yeah. and a half or whatever. So in two thousand, so they should have. That was a missed opportunity. They, they, they should have had it, but again, they didn't do the whole bleeding of the crystal until twenty seventeen. Because prior to that, the George Lucas way, red crystals were fake. They were synthetic. The Sith created them. Mm. Right. They created them, and they created them in the first, and they harnessed all their hatred and their dark force into that crystal. And that's why their crystals are red. And that's why they have red lightsabers. That is the George Lucas way. So the whole bleeding of the crystal was a Disney thing. So that's why... I think that's a little cooler, actually. I do, too. Yeah. I think that's actually way cooler. That is more badass. Yeah. yeah. So that this... So so this it's like, oh, yeah, I just kind of made that in the factory. You ultimate good thing and bleed it out. I, I, yeah, I like the yeah. bleeding. Yeah. I like, that's I like, sick I like, as hell. Yeah. yeah. So, and so that's why Ahsoka, her second set of lightsabers are white. Because she clarified, she took she took a, uh, an Inquisitor's lightsaber. She killed an Inquisitor, takes his lightsaber, and that's how... And she purifies the crystal, and that's why hers are white. How do you go about purifying a crystal? Super good. Just oh, put okay. Put all your goodness. Put all your goodness into like, it. Love, 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 Tons love. Of love. <laughs> so that's also on my Instagram feed. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why people are losing their fucking minds over it. Oh, hopefully you listen to my episode. Right? And, and so the big reason why a lot of people are getting fucking all sorts of up in arms about it is because that that's always their references. Darth, you know, Anakin Skywalker kills all those people. How come he is, is? Well, because the idea of bleeding the crystal hasn't been created yet at that point. Now, could they have done it? Sure. Well, they could have done it. And but then how? That movie came out in 2006. No, no, what I'm saying is you can also logically write your way around it. Do you know what I mean? Like, she willed it to happen. He just didn't. Whether he knew to do right. it or didn't know to do it, he just was too fucking busy. Like, he didn't so, like, I'm just up to kill a motherfucker. Right, like, look, at, look at how easy there, this lightsaber cuts. And was like, and fuck here's, this thing, make it happen. And here's the best part yeah. about it, and, and, and I have to, this is actually pretty good writing. They made it, now the idea that a lightsaber breaks you from f- fucking getting thrown, come on now. We have seen lightsabers go flying. Yeah. And then pick them right back up and go, right, yeah. This soul's lightsaber, she tosses it. And it breaks. The crystal's now protruding through. She's actually physically touching it. The touching the crystal to yeah. her hand. And so that's why it feels the hatred. And then that's when it turns into the red light. That was so, so again, fucking cool. I thought that was a great thing. Yeah. It was. I mean, it was and obviously... Because also, she was... She was it, it wasn't yeah, she yeah. was just sitting there. You right. know, she was in a huge moral dilemma. And yeah. she was getting really mad. Yeah. Really a lot really of hating cool, yeah. going on. I mean, she killed... She killed her master. Yeah. Which, again, that that goes back to the fucking flip flop and the feelings that pissed me off between these two girls. It's like I love my sister. I want to kill my sister. I love my sister. I want to be bad. I want to be good. I want to help. The I, love I, wanna... I, I love soul. I hate soul. I love soul. I hate soul. Sister, sister good. I, sister bad. Get out of here. 
of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save. That the flip flopping of, of, of I love you, but I hate you, and I want you dead. But I also don't want you dead. I want to find you. The overly emotional fucking Jedi's. Mind. It was like watching the, the Cobra Kai. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> Cobra Kai. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get out of here so much. What Which the, we'll get to on the new season. Fuck, six, nothing's by the way. going on, bro. What? Bro, relax. Like you chill. don't know, you're like okay, you're a Jedi. Now. Nothing is going on. You're on this fucking like little harvesting fucking mission. Chill out. Like, why are you in such a rush to go back to Coruscant? Like yeah. to the point that. Like, oh yeah, that tool bag. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, there, there was a, again, there was a lot of that, and then you're just gonna eat. You're just gonna eat. Yeah, he got homesick, and so to the point. Excuse that, me. <laughs> to to the point that it, it you you want to completely break the fucking rules and not listen to your master that said don't do anything. You were like, oh fuck you. That's not how Jedi operate. Yep. It, did you, well, and, and the only defense against that is like, you know, Kamir was also a Jedi. You we just having a prop That's with the really That's um, my prop number two. Like, Kamir was like, he was also a Jedi and went against what they said to a very strong degree, but not. No, all he was Jedi a Jedi. He was a perfect. Padawan. He was well, a yeah, Padawan. but he was yeah. With but he the was, cute little Padawan braid. No, 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 no. Kamir's Dar- Dar- uh, Smilo Ren. Oh, my bad. Yeah. yeah. Not, him. Like, uh, not him. Not him. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, not all Jedi are perfect. I mean, even right. Soul wasn't perfect. Nope. Yeah. We know that. You know what I mean? But so I, the only the only thing that's good about what they did is that you you take all these, you know, higher than thou mighty Jedi and like sound somewhat show they can be flawed. Yeah. They can in fact be flawed. I mean there's you know, there's thousands of these fuckers in the galaxy. But they're not supposed to be. They're not supposed to be, but how can you have a religion of thousands of people with ultimate power? With like ultimate power, and so and there's not a couple of so, bad eggs in the fucking again. Basket. I like I like what that little like the politician said. He's like, look, you are literally just posing as a religion of unchecked power. Yeah. And so and that, uh, like with essentially a monopoly on that. And, and right. I and you know? I kind of honestly like I but that's kinda part of that, do so like, like that like modern that he's day like, hey, agenda talk by the way. Right, and, and it's like you know what like I kind of. Watching the show itself, I, I was I very much thought, but because again, I, like I'm I'm reading the old legends books, and the Jedi very much that like I'm you know reading a lot of the High Republic stuff, which is this is kind of the end of that. Um, I mean, haven't they always been an allegory for the Catholic religion? Uh, I, I I guess so. Yeah, since like day one, essentially. Yeah, so like, I can see that. Lucas, yeah. Lucas. So the I mean the whole idea like and when you read some of the older. Legend stuff and the High Republic stuff is you see this. It's it's the Jedi imposing their will literally, literally on like everybody, and that's kind of how like you know the Sith and and I'm gonna get oh this is this is one of the reasons why Revan becomes Darth Revan. You know, he, Darth Revan was a Je- Revan was a Jedi who wants to get involved into the Mandalorian Wars, and the Jedi was like, no, we're not gonna really do that. And he was like, yo, people are fucking dying for the Republic. Like we need to be what we're supposed to be, and he goes and goes into the Mandalorian Wars and spoils for people who haven't read Darth Revan yet. Um, he becomes Darth Revan because he's like fuck off Jedi, and he gets taken away to the dark side of the planet and gets with Dark Force, and he becomes Darth Revan and his buddy Darth. Anyway, because um, I'm going on a tangent. Yeah, go ahead, Mila, deal with Doctor Who. Go yeah, go, go so, off. So I, happens, I was all over the place. Yeah. You know, and, but they've always called me, you know, like fallen Jedi or dark Jedi because it's like. There, there are people that are like, you know what? Like, you're holier than that. Like, Qui-Gon was one of them, believe it or not. Like, I know that the Qui-Gon that we've been, that we watched, had a little bit of an edge. The real Qui-Gon was like, nah, man. That's why he never sat on the council. Like, they, yeah. I think they even hit on that. Like, I, I think uh, um, Obi-Wan in this, uh, episode one or whatever, he's like, you know, you should be on the council. He's like, yeah, well, you know, I got my own thoughts. And that's the reason why. He, was, yeah. he wasn't as bad as a, well, you know, a follower, but he had yeah. his own mind, he had his own thoughts. That's one of the reasons why Count Dooku left the Jedi to become a fucking Sith under yeah. under um, Darth Sidious. It's during that time he, there was a lot of shit going on, and and you know this from the Darth Plagueis book, um, which we're gonna get to the Darth Plagueis reveal. Mm. Mm. Um, oh yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. About that. Mm. Um, Can't wait so, to hear Larry's take on that. Yeah. <laughs> on on. Uh, when, when Count Dooku decides that he doesn't want to be a Jedi anymore, it's because he's caught on this line that a lot of his Jedi friends went out to battle and they fucking died for an unjust cause. And the Jedi Council was kind of like, yeah, we're not going to do anything about that. He's like, what do you mean you're not going to do anything about that? Like, we need to fucking do something here. Like, we can't just let those Jedi, my friends, those people, we can't yeah. just let them fucking die for nothing. Like, we need to get in. So that was, that was part of the pull 
that Dooku started to leave, and then Palpatine actually sees that, and he goes, mm, I think I could fuck with this guy. And then as under the cloak of Darth Sidious, he starts pulling Dooku away from the Jedi, and then that's when he becomes fucking Darth Tyrannus under, under Palpatine. Um, great. So you, you, you see this a lot, and, and everything has its flaw, but on this one, it just, it, for me, it felt like these Jedi were supposed to be the right ones, like they, mm-hmm. they, they, this was followed. So when they were just getting super emotional, I'm like, uh, what, reel it in, guys. Like, ho- hone it in. You're a fucking Jedi. You want to go run on your speed or go steal the girls, and you don't want to listen to your council that are like, we're not going forward with this. You know, Trinity, she was like, all right, look, she's basically, she was like the main, out of the four of them, yep. she was like the captain of them. And she was like, we're not going to fucking do anything. So it's like, I don't care what you say. We're going to go do it. She's like, what? You then why am I here? Yeah. Like, yeah, so like that really, you know, that that really bothered me that. Did they you just miss kinda, that day in Jedi class? Yeah. Like, <laughs> this I, is not how any of this works. Like, I tell you what to do. You don't. When has it ever worked yeah. like this? You know, you so like, that day? That, a lot of that really bothered me like that. They were just fucking all. Oh, and he just, he it? just made assumptions the whole time. Like, so yeah. he's like, oh, I thought they were going to do something bad. Yeah. Fucking why? Why? Why uh, the fuck? Now. I, I get it, but then it was like, especially when the mom in her dying moments was like, like, hey, I, I was going to let her be a Jedi. Die. And then he still doubles down. Yeah. Yeah, so I That mean, was weird. I was like, why are you still fucking doubling down? I thought they were going to hurt you. No, you now know they were never going to hurt you. Hurt yeah. Them. I, I, you know? You know. That's I, weird that he doubled down on that so and hard. And lied about how all those people, just the fucking writing on this was just bad man you know and then we got S- smiley wren like i wanted so much more of him i wanted more story of him i wanted his fucking backstory yeah i was hoping he'd get deeper because he seemed like pretty deep fortunately 10 to 1 they probably had it written like this because they were going to do a second season yeah, and a lot I mean they go that. into with these with thinking they got to do multiple. Yeah, reasons, well, at least two to three. She but was, you can't. She was, she was, she was, she I hate was that trend. On, she was signed on to do multiple projects. Yeah. After the backlash, they were like, "Yeah, no, we're not letting you touch anything anymore." From and I'm like, that fucking blows. Yeah. Because unless somebody else, because he was kind of neat. I, I mean, well, I, I I need to know what kind of story you're going to try to build because first of all, there is a rule of two. Yeah. If he's the apprentice, which he's not, because we know who Darth Plagueis' apprentice is, it becomes Palpatine. But not at this time. It was 100 years ago. He only had one fucking apprentice. At this time, so at this time, he's not running around by himself. So who would be his apprentice now? Plagueis is the fucking apprentice. Tenebris is the master during this. Okay. After he kills him, he doesn't have... Before Tenebris gets killed, Plagueis already got his eyes on, on Palpatine. Okay. So I, I think I don't, I've got to go back to this because I saw someone say, like, "Oh, he had like seven acolytes." I was like, "I don't remember him having any acolytes." Like, I don't remember anybody really following in his path. Like, Plagueis met Palpatine when Palpatine was like, I want to say he was like a teenager, like late teens, um, and that's when he met him because he was um, he's immune uh, from the banking uh, society. Um, uh, what the fuck's his name? Uh, I forgot what his real name was. But uh, Ma- uh, Damas- Damascus has mass shit. Somebody's gonna correct me. Somebody's going crazy right now. But he he meets Palpatine, and then he kind of feels his force. He's like, oh shit. So he has Palpatine as his as his apprentice when Palpatine's like fucking 19, 20, 22, and he helps him get through with through the through the Senate and all that yeah. stuff. While uh, Hugo the Mac, uh, Hugo, Hugo, fuck. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Um, I'm almost there with- You have no idea, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat with anticipation. I know, uh, anticipation. (laughs) Um, Hugo de Bass, I believe is what what, uh, Plagueis' real name is. So he's part of the the banker clan. And so he's he's not sulking around like a fucking cave demon. (laughs) He's a cave dweller. All right, like that's (laughs) not him. He, he was out in the pub now. We have a cave troll. Right. <laughs> so, oh, my God. <sighs> fuck me. So the rule of two is in place. It's, it's Plagueis and Tenebris. That's Master and Apprentice. That's that. Regardless if they liked it or not, that they abide by the rule until you get... Even 
Palpatine had a couple fucking subservants, which we know for a fact. He had like two or three of them going on at the same time. Um, none of them were quote unquote his apprentice though, so that's how they got around that. Yeah. Um, the, the, the whole fucking maze now holding hands with fucking Khmer. Uh, fuck off. Fuck it's off. It's an odd power dynamic there, I think. Fuck <laughs> off. Like, I, that sucked so <laughs> mad. But do you think it was meant to be like Khmer was supposed to be Plagueis's apprentice, apprentice or something like that? I, I, I don't know. Or like one but, of his okay, like but no, but underling. So, but here's the thing though. It just, it just didn't feel that way to me. Because he was just so much like, I just want to do what I want to do. Right. So, like, but if it, he just wants to do what he wants to do and not necessarily like be a Sith, he's like, you might call me a Sith, but I don't fucking care. But then he ne- wouldn't necessarily be an apprentice to. Right. So now, so he's, he's if he's just running his own right, shit. So now here's the thing. So if he's just gonna fuck off and do his own thing, and maybe he's not has he a, wants to teach maybe, people his way. Maybe his he has thing. nothing. Yeah. He's, maybe the other guy's just keeping a watch on him, going like, huh? Yeah, interesting. That so now that was another whatever is going on over here. That was another story that that was kind of like put out there like, well, maybe he really isn't an apprentice. And Plagueis has just been keeping his eye up because he saw what the witches did. Yeah. Him and Tenebris have been trying to do this for fucking years. At this point, after after Plagueis kills Tenebris, well first, Plagueis kills Tenebris' then apprentice. Because Tenebris is like, hey, two apprentices, fight whoever wins, is becomes my apprentice again. So Plagueis killed Tenebris' original apprentice. But he had him in a fucking lab and he kept killing him and bringing him back to life. So Plagueis was already fucking around midichlorians and, and reanimating, kind of like Frankenstein. Yeah. So he was already doing this. So that theory is this, well, he's been keeping an eye on Osha and May because he helped the witches do their thing. Yeah. Like you said, I mean, it's an all, it's an all witches, all women. Right, yeah. The fuck do they want to do with a the guy? They're already in tune with the force. They don't want anything from him. So he's not, quote unquote, helping them. So they were like, oh, maybe he just knows of them. And now he's watching them. Yeah. Again, he's not a fucking but that's creep. all stuff that could come out in a season two that we're not going to get. But, but no, but, yeah. if you, but if you make it that, though, then you fuck up with the character itself that's already written on pages. Sure. And you're going to fucking change it. So if you, yeah. like, again, if you want to create a story that's in the Star Wars world, I'm all about it. But if you're going to involve it's certain lore, multiverse. I will fucking shoot you. Star Wars <laughs> multiverse is going to be the worst fucking thing ever if that ever happens. Do you no. want to see a, a raging fan base? <laughs> oh my we'll god. Star Wars no. multiverse? That'd be the most fucked up thing ever. People? My god. Well, I mean, they're all different universes already, so. Uh, it'd not? be like a multi timeline fucking. There's so two Plagueis. Yeah, like, yeah, right? There's two Plagueis in this world. There's different Plagueis from yeah, Earth, so from, so, you know. But from now, but now, uh, hold universe on. number three. Now, hold on. Now, going on that, though, piggybacking off that, after watching this, I'm like, all right. I gotta try to wrap my head around this because I don't want to be that Star Wars fan that's my own worst enemy. But. <laughs> However. <laughs> so I actually had to kind of sort of look at this and go, you know what? There's the DCEU, and then there's the other world, right? Is that what they're calling it? Yeah. I suppose. So there's fuck. if there could be the three Elseworlds. different, the Elseworld, if there's fucking three different Batmans, and they don't all, and there's five different Jokers, and six different... Shows are different from the books, you know different what? from the comics, different if, from the movies. If Disney's going to do something like, like, if they're just going to completely say, I don't give a fuck... About what's already written in pages. Well, I mean, haven't they kind of already sort of, done I thought that? they said yeah. that didn't like the, like the they weren't the canon. They're, they're shit crea- yeah, really, yeah, like it's they're not creating they're creating their own canon. But yeah. they're taking but they're taking things right. from well, okay. legends. Fair like, enough. Oh, they're no. taking stuff from it. They're inspiration. Not, they're taking inspiration <laughs> from it to kind of hook people in because it's all about money, really. At the end of the day, yeah. It's about getting so, people so, in the so fucking buying tickets, but so they're taking inspiration. Kind I, of like, see. I mean, let's face it. I mean, even Marvel. Yeah. The so shit they're doing. Let's is make not, the cowl. Not page you know, for page. Have no white eyes. You know. <laughs> make it, it different like from the comics. You know. Head. <laughs> make it easier for the Don't for people to handle shit. it. <laughs> Wolverine had white eyes that weren't animated. I'm not gonna that much. Like, fucking <laughs> doing on Batman's cowl. <laughs> right? so, do that bullshit. So you know, why, why, I'm just spouting the same bullshit that Star Wars is giving Larry. So I mean, I look at this one and I go, okay, how did I feel the first time I watched X Men? And I was fucking furious. Hmm. I was so furious because it took three fucking movies to finally give me all five of the original X Men. 
Yeah. So I was mad when I saw the first one. So I kind of feel the same way watching Acolyte. And the reason why it's like, I wish the story was better. Not only the story better, but you wish it was more accurate to what you've seen and read yeah. prior. And, yeah. You know, and I and if you're going to bring Plagueis in, I, I wish it was in a different way. Um, what you know, watching that's watching Yoda and, 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 and watching Yoda putting putting yeah. Yoda in end, that yeah. fucking bothers me. Yoda, really, really, white mm. hair. really well, it's a hundred years prior, so I mean, he, but in Phantom yeah, but Menace, doesn't he, he live for younger. a long fucking time? Yeah, he's nine hundred by the time nine hundred something by the time he dies. But what I'm saying is, in Phantom Menace, which is a hundred years later, he looked younger. Than he did at the fucking end yeah. of his. Well, like, really? I was, well, yeah. I just saw a puppet. And not oh, I thought he just had like the and, tuft of hair. Anyway. No, he had like it was almost not quite Darker white at that point. It was yeah. like it was I, I lighter mean, brown. It was like he definitely looked. He had more of it. He died at that day. This looked apparently. This <laughs> puppet was almost like the puppet they used in Return of the Jedi, like right before he died. Well, it didn't. It yeah, hardly yeah, moved. I mean, so. yeah, but yeah. you can see the back of his head. Yeah, it was just the ears. So when when I saw when I saw that, that was kind of online, and I noticed it before I even went online. Yeah, that puppet looks like the fucking Return of the Jedi puppet. Yeah, so. They used and not the animated version that they used in Phantom Menace. Right. We've flown around the chair and shit. <laughs> who looks a lot? He looks. It looks much a lot younger. younger yeah. Now he's even hundred years younger than that. So it. Why is he so old? Yeah. Well, and he what had I, a bad what, day. What, 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 yeah. a bad hair day. But what I didn't like about that is you put Yoda in there. So you want me to believe? And, and I said this. Fucking when we so first many decisions talked about being this, made. this is hundred years ago. Yoda has to be getting around somewhere, and they're doing a lot of shit in the Jedi Temple, and they're talking about the Jedi High Council a lot. Yeah, so, How do you not? So you insert Yoda. Now here's a couple issues that I have with this. Yoda. So does she lie to Yoda? Yeah, she. Fuck. Well, we don't know. Sure, She's lying not. to everybody else about what happened. So if she doesn't lie about, if she doesn't lie to Yoda about this, Yoda knew all about this. When we see him in Phantom Menace, yeah, but we know Yoda's a little lion frog. Yeah, he's he's, he's covered shit up before too. He kind of like he's as scummy as the rest of them. Kind of <laughs> like you know what you get like the Obi Wan Kenobi you know, in a certain point of view, which oh, is just a yeah. fucking oh. way out writer out of because he didn't realize it was Lucas didn't know Vader was Darth Vader's uh, blue spot. Yeah, the, at that yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Wasn't they had to write around right. it, being like, well, from a certain point of view, I wasn't fucking lying. Yeah, yeah you were. Because you didn't know. Because it was yeah. the first movie, and you didn't fucking know what the script hadn't been written. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of the same thing. Like, Yoda in the future, he does kind of, like, give you some of that shit. He never fucking tells Luke that Leia's his sister. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, he does. He, he gives out information when he feels his necessary. When he feels his necessary. So, I, I, it's just, it's hard for me to fucking fathom that. So, it she's doesn't, 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 doesn't do bump me at all it. that he might have known some of this shit. But so, <sighs> and, but we still don't know. But here's the thing: with all those Jedi dying, he didn't fucking go. Know. Whoa, there's a change in the force. We gotta fuck. There's something bad happening, and doesn't because don't they all go under the under the secret mission to fucking go after this this dark force user? They do it not being sanctioned by the fucking council. Yeah. When they all die, how the fuck does Yoda not go? Whoa, something's going down. But nothing. Either. To my knowledge, and I could be wrong, nothing at the by the end of this show do the surviving Jedi's, including Green Lady, yeah. think that he's a Sith. He's a dark force, but yeah, they say he's a Sith. He yeah. is one he's a one of two. He's got a he's got a master, and now he's taking on an apprentice. We know what's going on. Because they're still trying to find him. And yeah. they're trying to use May to find him, which now she's got the secret quick, really fast memory wipe. That took a half a second. Yeah, no, for, how oh, the fuck let, you, I know can, it's the force. Can, how the fuck do you wipe that woman's can I memory talk that about fast? That real quick? Has that it, pissed me off. Wait a minute. That doesn't happen if it's a fucking Sith, because that's a loose end. She gets killed. No, I, I don't I'm give two with fucks. You. The Sith are killing her. That, that. But do you think he did that because he wanted to maintain the relationship with Osha? And he kind of feels like if you fucking kill her in front of Osha, that Osha's going to be like, hey, you just fucking killed my well, sister. No, because you know Osha Also, he's not even like, a Sith, will... though, so maybe he's no, just remember, like Osha fucking went around with, him. with the Sith ways. But Osha not... went with him on the condition that he lets May go. Yeah, it, 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 I, I, he allows I, so, me to go. Okay. So yeah. if, if he kills her off, Osha's gonna be like, so he's okay. So he's out. either ready. So he's either a soft fucking dark Jedi or a soft Sith or a, 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 a bad or a mad Jedi. He's because yeah, he's it, not on the, on the dark. He's not full Sith. 
Yeah, he I, has I, to no, get I, over I, that. I, I mean, he's yeah. not full he's not, Sith. He's not yet. a full Sith. He doesn't have red, the yellow eyes with a red tinge around it, which yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, had like almost immediately. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like he doesn't have any of that. He's just, he's like, just, he's, he's just a like, rogue Jedi yeah. that just kind of wants to do his own shit. But he's kind of like, I got some dark ways about doing it. And yeah. I, need my, I need my smile oh, red no, helmet. No, no, no. You know what he is? That's what I think. You know what he is? Fuck, it just came to me. Oh, boy. Oh, it really just came to you just now? Five minutes he's an emo Jedi. <laughs> he emoji. Yeah, yes, he's yeah, that's emo exactly. Jedi. That's it's it. Like yeah, Smilo Ren is just no different than fucking what's his name that played Ben. Like, no, he was a a mopey. Yeah, fucking this emo dude's fucking bitch. wicked mopey. Yeah, he was how kept having his temper tantrums and fucking up the space station. Adam Driver. Thank you, Adam Driver. Which there you go, yeah. can't stand, and he's sitting there fucking up the the space station yeah. with his lightsaber, we're having little tantrums like my yeah. four year old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he is. Yeah, but again, like I don't, I don't know. If fucking, yeah, but yeah, the whole mind wipe. I right, dude. Three that seconds. Was fast. Is that Three have we seconds. seen a mind wipe before? Did it take longer? No, I don't think we've ever seen one. Uh, why, why would we think that would take any faster? Like, no, no, right. no, but he was droid. No, but he refers to that though in like the second episode or whatever when they see him inside the. the, the he's like, oh, don't don't do that Jedi mind wiping thing that you guys yeah. do. Yeah. So he knew about it. Foreshadowing. Yeah. So they were foreshadowing. It was foreshadowing that. the fact that he is the guy that we're looking for. Yeah, he's the stranger. Yeah. That's what he's titled as. Yeah. So, you know, that was just, that was annoying. That uh, three second mind I, wipe. I wouldn't know any got her mind difference. wiped, but you know, and he left some memories of her, but then the other ones he took away. It wasn't like she, well, the, she well, was. Well, no, the last she, memory that she had was when she was eight years old. Right, that's what I mean. So apparently that quick mind wipe, he was able to go, eight, hey, got that's it. That's what she confused me. It was like, didn't he say, I'm going to make you forget about your sister and me? But I, I kind of get it because her entire driving force was like, to kill family, family driven, yeah, you know. He, he tried to. He just basically wiped her everything that. So that's like that everything she's ever done, on. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So you he, know. He turned the, the last sixty eight. years. So now it's like fuck. Eight. eight. He turned yeah. eight. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, like, yeah, I don't know. The last thing in I three remember. seconds, yeah. that pissed me off. But okay. Yeah. I, I don't. Re I didn't really care at how quickly that took because. Oh my god, drive me Just nuts. because I, I have no other basis. I'm yeah. like, how long is it supposed to take to wipe someone's mind? I mean, just run it under some cold water. I mean, the, the, the kyber crystal. <laughs> no the more memory. Yeah. Bleeding the kyber crystal took that longer. Was fuck with the hippocampus. <laughs> oh, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. No more memories. There you go, die. Someone slips yeah, in the that, shower. That, it's that gone. Be, like fucking. That would be no more memories. Shit. That would be no more memories. He <laughs> dialed it back to a certain point. <laughs> Getting yeah. a, a small bike accident. <laughs> Clearly, done. he's done this before. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean. Yeah, that, that I I I kind of see both of your aspects. Like, well, how long is it supposed to take? But they did take yeah. kind of quick. Yeah. Like I, I do finish. It's like three, two, later. All right, bye bye. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know. Let me get that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like fucking. Wait, is it supposed to take old. longer? <laughs> oh shit! Went to seven and a half. Let me give some of that back. Yeah, <laughs> get back. Uh, the, the too far, too far. <laughs> the the constant, not constant. The the ease that they had. Take it over the Jedi's minds. Now the Padawan, okay, your mind is kind of like all kind of fucked up anyway. Yeah, yeah. You were homesick, so they were easy to get you. Yeah. yeah. The Wookiee, on the other hand. Yeah, isn't he a fucking Jedi knight? Jedi master, master, yeah. Although Jedi they also, master. it also took them a whole, like all of the coven to do that. It was you know? like entire. It was the entire coven. Yeah, you win. That 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 can that's real. That right. guy. That it took sense. one one Padawan. So, right, so, okay, no, 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 yeah. no, wait, hold on. He didn't want to be there. Hold on, wait yeah. a minute. <laughs> he was already on the fence, right? Yeah, he was like, I want to be here today. She goes, Ooh, you don't want to be here today. He's like, Yeah, you're fucking right about that. Neil, all right, all right, cool. So you take the whole ready, the whole coven to take over the Wookiee's mind. Yes. But only one trinity to smoke them all out. She's fucking powerful. Yeah, How she's powerful as this woman. She's powerful. We couldn't fight and her. And if she was so yeah, fucking, I was gonna say, if she was so fucking powerful. She can't handle how the I, I wonder if it's she because can't like the force. She knives, but you know. Uh, yeah, mm, I don't know. She's good at the mind say, like, shit, but she can't handle the force, knife to save her life. Maybe the force is better at breaking out, but the corruption. I don't know. Is different. I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, I don't know though. Okay. Well, the only the only way is that if they're focusing on him, 
They're not focusing on her, so she's fucking with them. And yeah. it's loosening their control over yeah, him. Like, because they can't fuck with him and try to block her at the same time. But that's a that's lot what of I'm them. assuming, yeah. But that's a lot yeah, of but she's fucking, fucking with them. Because that takes a lot of mental they're, energy, they're, probably. They're all assume. trying to stay focused on the Wookiee at the I, same time. Yeah, and, I, and if they start I losing parts of them to focus on blocking her out, uh, they're going to lose control of the Wookiee, too. <laughs> the Avatar. Because it loses uh, all of them to control him. <laughs> I mean, so if you yeah, start plucking uh, some of them out to stop yeah, that's what I'm from assuming. coming in, they'll lose control of the Wookiee. Yeah. So they have to stay focused on him. And she was able to get in the back door and work Because clearly back door. that yeah. enough yeah. took a lot of energy. Yeah. yeah. Let alone doing yeah. two power, like he fighting was, two powerful was. forces he was rather powerful. than just the one. Yeah. So. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I mean. I guess so. I mean, yeah. thanks, thanks for, again, so here we go. Shitty writing. That could get easily fucking interpreted in any shape, way, or form, and it's like, oh well, yep, that's why. Oh, okay. Well, what the fuck? If you just wrote it better, I wouldn't have these fucking dumbass questions. But it's making you think, Larry. It's making. And you that's think. the important part. And that's, isn't that really right. the more important I mean, part? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> Don't. All right. Awesome. Well, there it is. Any other <laughs> thoughts on Acolyte? Now that we're up on an hour here. It's okay. I like the fight yeah, scenes. They're was, super cool. Yeah, you know, I have to, I have to watch I'm like a big fan of those cool. fight scenes. Every, oh, there was a lot of fucking shit episodes, though. I was, I mean, oh yeah, I was talking. To, I was talking to Larry about this just before the fucking. There was a whole episode that was like rewatching the first episode yes. with like I, yeah. we gotta, we gotta slightly slightly more dialogue story, yeah. and I was like I was like fast forwarding I'm like skip 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 yeah I was there bro like watching yeah, Soul like just watching the, the twins in the forest the first I was time. like yeah I've fucking seen this before I was there yeah well because they were now it's just a different camera in. angle they were filling in for the reveal of the parts of that story they left out because they didn't want to tell us yeah. all that. But can't you try to do that in a more creative way than re-watching the not. first episode? Did you watch the rest of the season? Clearly not. Right? <laughs> Clearly like, that's not. the thing. I'm like, I this whole season that, proved, and again, no, that goes to Larry's point. The writing is just so dog shit because there, you could probably get really creative in slowly having that reveal. You don't have to have us re-watch the first episode with, like, the behind the scenes. It really was. Like, all right, thanks. We have some deleted scenes for you today. Yeah. <laughs> like, watching right, entire you. scenes yeah, again. The takes on the, on the Blu-ray. You know? So, my, I guess my major gripe with this was, you know, like you said, the fight scenes were awesome. The the, the lightsaber scenes were great. Some of the, the writing was not great. And it just, for a, a, a show that was meant to be with this is, it's, it's a very boring story. Yeah. It's slow. It doesn't do much. It doesn't go anywhere. You kill off a whole fucking bunch of powerful Jedis. And it just, it, I don't know, it just, it, it, it sang for me. I wanted to love it. Yeah. I went in loving it. You know, even after they killed Trini, I'm like, ah, that's a bad choice, but let's give it a go. Yeah. Let's yeah. give it a fucking go. And it just kept slapping me in the nuts every fucking time. Like, no, this is not happening. I don't, you know, normally I like that sort of thing, but it's just not working for me today. Yeah. Oh right, my right? God. No, because I saw something else. So, like, there was a couple of episodes that really, that nothing fucking happened. Yeah. Like, like again, nothing. that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, nothing. It just didn't go anywhere. It doesn't One move the, the needle in the story at all. I want. Uh, That's okay. what you have eight episodes or whatever. Like, and you and we again. I know this is just we're beating the dead horse here because we've said this how many times with how many of these fucking shows. Like, it just you get eight episodes and you don't move the needle at like, all. There's no yeah. progression at all here. So why? And there's not even character progression, really. Uh, not really. I just I just opened up uh, um, on on the IMDb the the fourth episode I think is, is titled Day, um, and I clicked on it, and the very first image I have is as uh, Jackie, right, with her fucking wood sword, and she's in class practicing how to use a fucking lightsaber, mm -hmm. right? We're using a sword. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's a big one now. She's a fucking Padawan. She's a fucking child. How does she hold her own against Kamir? She's really good. Owie. She's like pretty good. <laughs> she's like pretty good. She's like really good. She's like good. That's what we're gonna go Have with. Have you considered that she might be good? This dude just <laughs> smoked Jedi's, Jedi Masters, smoking them. Very that good. was kind of like. <laughs> and then, well, yeah, no. And then she it was her fucking own, stupid. To the point that when he killed her, he was like, "So was like, she was a child." I was like, "Yeah." What the fuck are you? Why did you bring, you bring her like 
Huh? Shane Ahsoka, like, I hate to say it, but Ahsoka didn't go up against Darth Maul until when? She was way later in her years. She wasn't going after fucking, she's not fighting, you know, these, ba- you know, badass beings when she was just a fucking little paddle one. No, but Jackie comes over and she holds her own against this dude. Come on, man. Yeah, I said Come that from the beginning. Get yeah, the that, that's really fucking stupid. Like, she, she could barely beat fucking May. It's X-23. I yeah. know. So that's, that's awesome. what, so I was gonna make a comment about that, like, if she did die yesterday, I was gonna say, great. I've seen her die twice in the same month, mm-hmm. but she didn't die, so I, I fucking holstered that comment. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah, so she barely holds herself against fucking May, who kind of whipped her ass a little bit. She got the better of her because, well, she's supposed to. Yeah. But that was a tough fight for her. And here she is, and she fights against fucking Smilo Ren, and then she was holding her, get the fuck out of here. Stop. <laughs> I know. I said the same thing when I watched it. I'm like, there's no way. There's, there's just so, no I, way. I, honestly, I thought, okay, this is when he kills her. It, this is when he's going to kill her because there's no way he's, she's going to beat him. No. And this is going to be like the big tragedy and, you know, I mean, and, and, you know, the... the but it should have, but it should have been that long. Like, honestly... No, it went on way should, too long. He should have no had, way. He should have had a longer fight with fucking Yord. Right. Then he, he had sh- much much shorter fights with Jedi Masters. He snapped that dude's neck one. like nothing. Yeah. And this one, he, she's like, I'm going to fucking come at you. Full of anger. Yeah. Ooh, that's a Darth, that, that's, that's a Sith trait, by the way. All fighting with anger. Can't do that. Fuck this show. Fuck this show. <laughs> man. So that's your rating. It. That's your rating Bad. for this show. Fuck this no, show. Fucking two and a half, maybe. Maybe a three. Uh, like, no, I'm at two and a half. Like, yeah. I'm not going higher than a two and a half. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at two and a half, and all of those points are for um, no. yeah, cool fight scene. The cool fight scene. Yeah. Like but God, that's like it. The Jedi, light, the Jedi fights, the, the lightsaber je- fight scene the, during the day. I can't even speak. <laughs> you got this. You the can do it. That, 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 you can do it. The lightsaber fight scene that they have on the bridge. When he fucking rips it to the side and it cuts across the metal, I was mm-hmm. like, oh, this is... Yeah! This is so good. Like, I will yeah. open... Like, that was really cool. Now, again... Dance. Even the hand-to-hand combat stuff, too. Combat like, the stuff. last episode with no, uh, May like and Tiger, yeah, Osha yeah. was, yeah, was yeah, yeah. so fucking good. I, I, the I like back and forths, mm-hmm. you know? And then eventually when they start to, like, match exactly the next move yeah. that they're doing. Yeah. I, that was it was well done. I, I think that a lot of their money was spent up there. Yeah. Now, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Eight episodes. You mean to fucking tell me that we couldn't see that kind of lightsaber fighting in, Ahsoka? in fucking Ahsoka? Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> And she's supposed to be way better. What? Yeah. Why? Why did we get great fucking Jackie? Cr- I mean, granted, she held her own, but that was fucking. But it was, was cool. Awesome, that was an awesome fight scene. So I guess I mean, at the end of the day, doesn't that just come down to decisions from the directors and the producers? Like, I, I don't know. We're right? gonna put right. our money into the story behind Ahsoka. But you should be but able to know how to balance that. They did. It's it. Star they did Wars, it, but they can't even know how to balance a good story and good writer. I know, and that's so that's like, the you know, end they, of the day. They make you know? good choices, and clearly a lot of bad choices. And this director said they don't know how to make good, good choices, choices the fight in general. New, like, eh, the fucking writing is kind of dog shit. Let's just make some really good fight exactly. scenes. Exactly. Like, so, but where do they put the $180 million? The fight scenes. The, the choreography and the lightsaber work. The, the thing the, is... The CG for the lightsabers. Yeah, it's, it's frustrating because you can't just do that. You can't just go, well, at least this is good. No, it all has to be good. It all has to be good. No, you, I'm with you. I'm 100% like, with you. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm 100% with you. But, I mean, again, it's Disney. It's Disney money. You have a team. They've Use it. They've had an issue for a or long time Or fire people. Now. <laughs> They've had an issue for a long time. You know, and the, one of the things is the cranking out, like cranking out properties, cranking out material, and you're just not getting quality like we used to because... They, they even just, said they were going to slow it down. They really and it's the Marvel yet. stuff. Oh, the Mar- my bad. Yeah. The Marvel no, stuff, they said they were going to slow down some of the Star Wars stuff, too, and they really uh, haven't yet, but... Yeah. What, when's that going to happen? Know, when exactly. are we actually going to slow down time. and work they on things? They started fucking going back to the old school stuff, and it just... They haven't. I mean, you know, when the guards changed, and they just got super fucking greedy. You know, we, we got through Iron Man, we got through some of the original shit, and they were just making... They were just printing money over there. And they just kind of doubled down on printing money, but didn't double down on making good quality stories. Yeah. To print them. Like, all right, it's like, well, Larry, you said this a hundred times. It doesn't matter how fucking bad this is, because by the time you... From tomorrow, there's another fucking show. You're going to forget how bad the Acolyte was. Because now you're watching the new show. Because mm-hmm. what's coming out? I mean, what else is coming out? There's none, more shit coming out now. 
we have other stuff coming out, right? Yeah, that's that. You know, it's funny that you say because I'm actually gonna I'm looking it up right now. Um, when the next thing's coming out? Star Wars Skeleton Crew. That's yep. been one that's been talking about. That's coming out shortly. Yeah, but, but it's kind of flip flops, right? Mm. DC, uh, not DC. Marvel comes out with a show. Star Wars comes out with a show. Marvel comes out with a show. Star Wars. It's all on Disney. That Plus. that kind of equates to so they, not slowing it down, right? Because they don't they don't overlap each other. Yeah. Right. They try to because they don't want to compete with each other on the same streaming service. So you know when you're done with Acolyte because it's a weekly, not all dumped at once. Now you're gonna start a Marvel one because that's gonna be an eight episode, eight weeks. And then right after that's gonna come another fucking Star Wars one. Like they have to keep the content coming, otherwise the the, the platform dies. Yeah. How many times are you gonna watch Frozen and keep that platform <laughs> and keep paying? Which now they're bundling with HBO Max. Apparently, they're gonna they're gonna. Oh, do are a, they really? Yeah, they're doing a bundle. Didn't they with, just mix with Hulu? Yeah. Now they're gonna bring HBO Max on. There's gonna be like twenty. Disney. Oh my god. Like I think well, right now I'm getting HBO Max for free because of my fucking phone, so they better not charge me more money. <laughs> so they, there's an ad-free version. No, you can choose it. You can choose the oh. bundle. There's like an ad-free version, I think, coming out for like 26, something like so that. So is my yeah. HBO going to be... I don't know if it's going to go away. Like Hulu Moot? Did. It might or be. is it going to be also Disney? How's that going to work? I don't know yet. Like Hulu's kind of gone away. Yeah. It's in Disney now, so I, I don't have, know. Because I have Netflix HBO. Netflix is basically come out and say, we're not fucking going anywhere. Does it mean I get more or does it mean I get less? Netflix like, what the we're fuck? not going anywhere. We are a destination streaming service, and so yeah. we're not going to bundle with anybody. They can go fuck off. Yeah. But some of the other bundle services are kind of like, yeah, it makes sense for us to bundle. Maybe they're losing enough subscribers because it's just too fucking many. Uh, that, that's why it confused me that Disney and, was going to you know, have a Disney, streaming service. HBO I was like, you and Peacock. what? I mean, fuck, everybody's got a streaming service. Yeah. It just makes sense to, you know, bundle it all like cable again. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just too much. <laughs> cable 2 coming well, soon. Well, you fucking get all these streaming services you. to watch. You're paying more than you did for cable. Yeah. So yeah, it's wait, just, wait, yeah, wait, it's so funny. Up, it's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is this is gonna become the cord to save the money. return to cable. It's yeah. gonna be so funny. Everyone yeah. goes, hey, cable's a little cheaper. Let's yeah, actually go, and then everybody shit. leaves and goes back to cable. Yeah. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> just waiting for just that to come back. Phone service. What if we bundle oh, them yeah, all? Yeah, the put it on Disney. Put it on TV, and then you can stream it whenever it's on. Oh my god. So, and the yeah. commercials are just right, there. So, uh, other news, because we haven't talked about it yet, and obviously news. by the time this comes out, it'll be too late. RDJ. Yeah. The new Doctor yep. Doom. The new Doctor Doom. Yeah. All right. All right. What are you thinking? Talk I don't know. To group. Uh, to I was actually just talking about this like a little bit ago, like with uh, Wolverine so and Deadpool. Ongoing, by the time we drop this episode, this is going to be old news, but we're going to talk about yeah. it anyway. But like... Can you stop killing off characters in a meaningful way and then bringing them back as something different? No. I'm so tired. So the character so dies. Your question, bring, no, yeah. Again. So it the tired till, so, till you're ninety. Til you're 90. <laughs> so yeah, that's, we're gonna kill the character, but the actor never leaves. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know. Like, I, I, I wish that they went a different route. To be honest with you, like, I, I like. Well, I want to see what route they're going. Yeah, yeah. I am so curious what's, what's, though. What's I think you can pull it off. This what's the story? Right. right. Like Still, they, we talked about this in the comics. You know. Robert, yeah, bleh, Iron Man was Doctor Doom at one point. Yeah, so yeah, it, was, it was like a brief. It was a brief thing. I, side I mean, fucking story type thing. Please don't make it the like the main thing that happens now. Well, that's, it's well, the well, that's what they're gonna Doomsday do because days. they re they retitled the Kang Dynasty is now it's Avengers Doomsday. So they're obviously doing away with all the Kang shit. Good. We've seen hide or hair Kang. It was so boring anyway. Was boring. I was so yeah. fucking yeah. sick well, of it. Well, obviously, Quantum Mania told us that that's just not going to fucking work, and nobody cares. So <laughs> yeah. they're getting away from the Kang stuff, and they're moving towards the Doctor Doom stuff, which is what people have wanted anyway. Especially if you go to Secret Wars, because Doom, God Doom, or whatever the hell he was called, is the catalyst behind Secret Wars. How's this going to mix along with uh, Galactus? Well, Galactus. So, so the Fantastic Four movie, which is where Galactus is. That's a different ver. It's a multiverse story, so it's not in the. Same. Oh, okay. They're gotcha. not in the six one six. Hi. Yeah, right over there. It's not in the six one six, and it's like in the fifties. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So All it's right, like, cool. It's, it's, like, it's a period piece fine, movie works too. For me. Yeah, yeah. It's like an origin story for Fantastic Four. Yeah, but I'd imagine cool. it's obviously right. with the multiverse convergence, they will come over, and we will see them in the multi in the you know yeah. Secret War saga. Or they'll come back. Or 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 it's just a fucking prequel. <laughs> You know, like you said, it, it's a period piece. It's 50s, 60s. Yeah. We don't. I feel like the Fantastic Four would have been referenced yeah. to, right? right? That's point. Like, but we will see that group eventually come over when we do Secret Wars, and yeah. you know, Doom mm -hmm. brings everybody together, and we have because they're talking about like Secret Wars, like either Tobey Maguire, or Andy Garfield, they'll be in it. 
as oh, a Spider-Man variant. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think one of them's already Why signed surprise? on. Why okay. we, we, we saw Spider-Man. No, but I think. Oh, like, I don't know I think, anything though. No, but I think like the the, the surprise is like, are they going to do it again? Like we, that was a like, really cool reveal. Yeah. For oh, okay. man, but so like, they are. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought that was going to be like a one-off. Bye, Toby Maguire. No, apparently not. Good people, seeing you. I think part of fan casting, like, yeah, we really want to see him again, especially okay. in the Darker, which I really could care less. But anyway, I like. So this they're going to bring on a lot of people for this, but it'll be interesting to see. And the Russo brothers have signed back on, I believe. To oh. Do it. Oh, yes. And they, yeah, they yeah, weren't going to do yeah. it, but now they've signed on to do the two Avengers movies, right? And do we like that? Both. Is this good? Well, yeah, they, yeah, did no. the Infinity, well, they did Infinity War and, and uh, Endgame. All right, they yeah, let, really good let's go, Russo. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah, they're really good at what they so do. So with it, let's go. They can pull, between the two, two of them, they can pull together this mat, because they're going to be massive movies. Like, I think, like, Secret Wars especially, it's going to be on the level of Endgame, if not more. It's right? got to be. It's got to be. You have to all do Endgame, first of all, but, like, you have all these characters who now have to come in, but like have more of a part than they did in Endgame. Like we saw the whole sea of heroes, but it wasn't like we got a lot of them fighting a lot. It yeah. was in the background kind of thing. It's like, hard oh, to do that. Yeah, it's hard. And make it but, believable, you know? Right, but I think in this one, they're going to try to do more. I'm hoping. Right, you'll have a more of a, a stake for all the characters. I hope they do that well because so far all I've seen is you know trash. Yes. So I'm hoping to see <laughs> well, with the not trash. Brothers back at the helm. Because at I'm least with can... with the Infinity War, I also liked the movies that were coming out. Yes, that's a big thing. Yes, this one I'm like I don't like any of the movies except for two. Yeah. So no, I'm with you. Let's see what happens yeah. because no one there's like. I have not seen like any hype for this movie like I did for Infinity War because for which for Secret Wars. Well, no, it's 2027. You're not gonna see anything yet. Right? Yeah. They literally just announced. They re-announced it at Comic Con this past weekend. Yeah. Where they changed, like it they is changed, still happening. They changed the title like that's not the way you think it was. Like yesterday, the day before. Or we thought they it was. They changed the title at Comic Con and they announced RDJ. Yeah. That was it. That was like yesterday, or the day before, whatever it was. So like they, you haven't seen it. They literally just changed it so the yeah. hype will start yeah. rolling. But, yeah. like, I really hope that they start making good content. I, 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 I fucking hope. I, the yeah. RDJ thing is, like... But it, I've it, been so let down so many times that, honestly, I'm like, well, I just... It, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know what? Let's see what happens. Because I have, like, zero expectations for anything Daredevil at this point. When Daredevil Born Again yep. gets released. That's going to honestly be... I think be, that's going to be a, a pivotal point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As far as, because we're going, we're giving you another chance at this. Yep. And we've already seen what, De what we can see what Netflix can we fucking We know what Daredevil do. can be. Yes. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. This is going to be, for me, that Daredevil show is, like, especially pivotal. Because, again, that's my, that was my jumping on point yeah. for all of Marvel. Yeah, yeah. You know, still one of my, like, favorite shows. Mm -hmm. Like, this is either going to be in the nail in the coffin. Mm -hmm. Or it's going to be, it's you know what? Jesus. Maybe I can start looking forwards to Marvel it's again. It's the new Marvel Jesus. I'm <laughs> the new Marvel <laughs> Jesus. Uh, um, so, yeah, I mean, and I'm, to see if Wolverine and Deadpool was just a one-off. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, hope it's not. You know? That, that's, I, I, I Because it not. could very well be, because I yeah. have not seen much good come from this phase. No, and I just, I forget all the announce, other announcements were on. Like a good show here and there, a good movie here and there. Yeah, but they did pretty the, they consistently did the not that good. I have to go good. back and finish the Comic Con review and see the other rundown, like all the other stuff that's being announced. Like yeah. they, they're announcing all the phase. You know, like they're getting through to what's happening between now and Secret Wars. Oh my God! So oh I'm, my God! I'm, I'm, well, I just so Phase Four, right? Mm -hmm. um, Armor Wars, Ironheart, Secret Invasion. That was all supposed to come out two years ago. Yeah. Well, Secret like, Invasion did. Oh, Secret Invasion did, but Ironheart was supposed to come out in 22. They it, yeah. Armor Wars. So I'm just like kind of like looking yeah. at some of this stuff and going. That's all still coming out. Like they post just. Right, they just it. keep pushing it. One part was the writer's strike. They had to postpone a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Fantastic strike. Four was actually supposed to come out in 23. Yeah. Again, um, writer's strike. They're, they're yeah. Just, they're, so, they're literally like they were at, they were at Comic Con. The actors and like Feige's like, all right, they are literally leaving right now to go film, to yeah. start filming Fantastic Four. So, okay, so here's Phase Four. Oh my God, what a whole fucking bag of shit this was. <laughs> it, like legit, this is fucking bad, man. It started off with Black Widow. That was the first movie of Phase yeah, it was Four. Like just the, the, fucking the, hated that movie. That was the tone. 
I mean, that was such a letdown for me. Fucking tone. I thought they were actually going to give me a cool spy movie, and they were like, "Oh yay! No. It's all CGI and still in space. Some fucking how." It's on the clouds. Yeah, it's it's in the clouds. Yeah, Shang Chi. That wasn't yeah, bad. That was, that was fine. That Eternal was good. garbage. Spider Man. Thank you. Really good. Um, Multiverse of Madness. Blah blah. Dog. Dog water. Um, Thor: Love and Thunder. Bad. Blah, blah. Uh, Black Panther 2, we talked about it. It wasn't bad. I didn't watch it, was it? it but really it sounded like it was bad. good. It really bad, but it wasn't um, bad. Captain Marvel 2. Uh, oh, the Marvels? That's the Marvels. Is that the Marvels? Yeah. I heard oh, that it was that good. Wasn't, that wasn't bad, actually. You know? yeah, we talked about that. Yep. That wasn't bad. I wasn't completely upset. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. That was fun. That was cool. I like Blade. That. Oh, no, sorry. No, Blade! <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> Jokes. Uh, Quantumania, garbage. Bad. Uh, 4, it's fantastic for it. Obviously got pushed. One, uh, so this, and then here's all the. So that was the movies of Phase Four, uh, Disney Plus, WandaVision. Okay, it was I fun. I liked yeah. it. I liked it. Uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. That was okay. Loki. That was a lot loved fine. It. Loved it. What if? It was all right. You know, it's uh, good. I liked it. It's good. Yeah. Miss Marvel. I yeah, did. I liked it. I liked that one. That was. Fun. I didn't watch it. Um, it's it's a fun it's, fun. it's it's a fun yeah, one to watch. Right. It's not bad. Yeah. Um, Hawkeye wasn't bad. Uh, okay. Yeah. She Hulk was dog. The the awful. Shit. Moon Knight, go fuck yourself. Oh, I fucking oh, loved that show. I like that show. I just wanted more Moon Knight. I wanted. I, more, I, I wanted. So I didn't much need more, more Moon Knight. Yeah. For me personally, I didn't need more Moon Knight. I, I actually, th- I actually, absolutely fell in love with that show. Totally. Yeah. I, I, I thought I, it was so cool. I I, need, I needed I needed more in that show. I wasn't upset. Except for the hippo. Um, Only thing I'm upset about is that there's no season two. Yeah, like I need. They're I like, need you're gonna see him again, and I'm like, don't you fucking you do I, this to I, me. I, so I, I like, I liked. Well, they I, gave I liked me one. Comic. I really liked him. I thought it was a great character. Oh, yes, we know it's Marvel's version of Batman. I'm fucking okay with that because I love Batman. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to put me back? I don't care. So, so, I love it. So if you, you want to give me the Midnight Suns or yeah, if you want to give me, if you want to give me Marvel, I'm just afraid they're gonna fuck up his character. Yeah. That's a given. Secret yeah. Invasion, we got Ironheart got pushed. Because he's a difficult character get, to get Armor down. Armor Wars got pushed. I am Groot. I never saw. I, I, it's a, cartoon stuff. Yeah, it's a cartoon. Oh, is that the? Yeah, yeah it's, don't care. It's still part of the Disney Plus that and then the Guardians of the Galaxy um, holiday special. Holiday special, yeah. Didn't watch so that. that was fa- that. I, I didn't. So that was Phase Four. Um, yeah. Fucking Phase Four. Really, like it had good shows, but the movies were like almost all misses. Hmm. Yeah. Except for like two. No. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so. maybe. All right, well, there you have it. Yeah. All right. All right, we'll talk about it more next time. Yeah. I'm sure the next episode we go over, we'll, we'll get into more Marvel shit. Yeah. Uh, more. Look, there's Phase 5. Blade's still there. Yeah, ah. sure, why not? <laughs> Eventually nice, we'll awesome. That one. I don't know, you um, next, uh, so next week or next time. So we're gonna. I don't know. If, depending on when this comes out, will you have li- watched Tootsie or not? Uh, if not, go back and listen <laughs> yeah. to it or wait for our Tootsie episode um, from the North Shore Music Theater. And then we're gonna do record on the boys. I believe is our next yes. one, right? Yes, the boys. The boys season. Th- season four. 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 Season four. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be a good wrap. Kind of wrap it for and, August, and, and yeah, it'll be awesome. We'll, we'll continue on. But we're back, baby. Yeah. We are back. We are so back. Yeah, we had a little hiatus, a little vacation. It's, it was summertime. It was summertime. It's summertime. Sum, sum, summertime. All right, about well, three people who can't sing. Did I ever tell you you had a good singing voice? <laughs> no. No. Well, there's good. a reason for that. All right. I'm sorry, I couldn't <laughs> sing. <laughs> let's, let's do it. All right, gang. Thank you, Mila. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're Entertainment Rants at EntertainmentRants.com. Check us out on all social media at Entertainment Rants. Check out our YouTube channel. Leave us some comments. Nice ones. Give us a review if you'd <laughs> love to. Please don't bully us. Apple Podcasts, <laughs> where your podcast can be found. And that's enough for me. Gang, what are we going to go and do? Rant, let's uh, rant. Rant, I suppose. Let's oh, rant. Let's talk it out. Let's fucking go. Let's talk about our feelings. <laughs> no feelings. 